everyone thinks it's okay for children to go to school hungry? What type of government thinks it's okay for people to die in the back of ambulances because there's no hospital beds? We want a school system that is fully funded. We want every child to have full bellies, the shelter that they deserve. And we want to return joy and happiness to our classroom. I need to be out here today to fight for a raise. I need to be out here today to fight for manageable workloads and to show the government and universities that we are tired of being ignored. as a complete democratic deficit and a democratic crisis. Public services are on their knees. They've been cut year on year for 12 years. We've got a Conservative government who doesn't believe in democracy. We've got a Conservative government who says, well, you've got the worst anti-trade union legislation, you've got to hit an arbitrary 50% threshold, which none of them have to to get elected. Oh, you've hit the threshold, you're taking strike action. Ah, oh, right, what we're now going to do is attack your rights even more. The way to deal with them is through this type of action. The way to deal with them is to keep hitting their ballot thresholds. The way to deal with them is to tell them, you will not sack any worker who takes their democratic right for strike action in defence of their wages, their jobs, their terms and conditions, and in defence of public services. What type of government thinks it's okay for children to go to school hungry? What type of government thinks it's okay for people to die in the back of ambulances because there's no hospital beds? What type of government thinks it's okay for people to do more than one job and still not earn enough money to put their heating on, feed their families, whilst giving their billionaire mates millions of our taxpayers' money. It is not acceptable. We're out on strike over pay, equality pay, pensions, uh, against casualisation, but we're alongside other trade unionists today. Today is a, a national day for the right to strike. The trade union movement in this country began by fighting to be able to strike. Uh, and this government has tried to reverse the gains that have been made for over 200 years in the democratic freedoms that trade unionists have. So that's why today civil servants, teachers, train drivers and university staff here are out, uh, out together protesting for the right to strike as well as the demands that we have over the cost of living crisis and for a decent fair pay for, uh, and a fair pension. Um, I'm picketing today because working conditions for PGRs and um, for wider staff are is becoming untenable. Um, I've been working towards an academic career for years now and it's looking increasingly like I won't be able to sustain myself within the sector because Working they thought that they could continue their programme of pay cuts, of funding erosion, of privatisation and guess what, we're going to stand together now and through more disputes and say no, we're not going to be poor anymore, our schools are going to have funding, our children, our children are going to have what they deserve. Over the past decade, our pay has been cut by 24%. Our per people funding is below 2010 levels. Our schools have been cut to the bone. But we know it's also a deeper expression of anger. 
We're anger, angry at a narrow curriculum, at a ruthless inspectorate in Ofsted. And we're angry at seeing rocketing levels of child poverty every day in our classroom. Because we don't just want bread, we want roses too. We want a school system that is fully funded. We want every child to have full bellies, the shelter that they deserve, and we want to return joy and happiness to our classroom. So let's stand strong, and together with doctors, and nurses, and railway workers, and civil servants, and teachers, and firefighters, we can build a society where everybody and every child can flourish. I need to be out here today to fight for a raise. I need to be out here today to fight for manageable workloads and to show the government and universities that we are tired of being ignored. We're out here to fight for our right to strike and to prove to UCEA, Rishi Sunak, and the entire government and private sector that we are worth more. We provide the labor and we have the power.